Sometimes you're looking for a substitute for mashed potatoes. And one of the best substitutes there is, is mashed cauliflower. So today we are doing a roasted garlic mashed cauliflower. Hey guys, thanks for joining us. If this is your first time tuning in, let us know you're out there by giving us a big thumbs up below and then hit that subscribe button to make sure you never miss a video. Now, let's start cooking. Let's take a look at our ingredients for this mashed cauliflower. So we've got one head of cauliflower. It's amazing how much cauliflower is in one head of cauliflower, but this is one head and I've just chopped it into rough uh, portions. You can just break it into florets or just, just whatever you'd like to do with that. So we've got our head of cauliflower. We've got two cloves of garlic that I've actually roughly chopped. I haven't minced them, I've roughly chopped them and you'll understand why in a second. And we've got one red chili pepper and this is the hot red chili pepper. Cauliflower is a pretty mild flavor so um, it can benefit from some, some extra uh, spicy additions. So this is a red hot chili pepper and we only need a very small amount of it and I'll show you how we break that down in just a second. Then we're gonna finish our cauliflower mash with some heavy cream and we've got a little bit of cheese and we'll garnish it with some chives. But our first step is to preheat our oven. We've got our oven preheated to 190 degrees centigrade, 375 degrees Celsius and or Fahrenheit. And the first thing that we're going to do is put our garlic in the oven and we are just going to get that garlic roasting for some flavor. And we'll just cover that with a little bit of olive oil. And we've just put it on a roasting sheet lined with parchment paper. And we'll just put that in our preheated oven. And now our next step is our pepper. I've already done half of this pepper, but I'll just show you how to do the other half. So what I've done is I've chopped off the stem of this pepper, and then I've just taken my knife and slid it down the pepper to remove the seeds. Now to do that, we just want to thinly slice the pepper. And this is easily done with a sharp chef's knife. So thinly into thin strips, and then we just take the pepper and just mince it like so. Now again, we literally will probably start with a quarter of this pepper. We won't, we won't use all this pepper because again, it's a, it's a spicy pepper and we, we only need a small amount. So that's our pepper and our garlic. Now the next thing is that you can see over here, we've got a pot of water that I've brought to the boil. And when it comes to the boil, we want to add a, just a, a handful of, of uh, coarse salt. So we're adding our coarse salt into it. And I like to wait until the water comes to the boil before I add the salt because uh, salt can uh, slow down the boiling process. So now that we've got that water boiling, we've got it salted. We're actually just going to put our cauliflower in the basket and we're going to steam this cauliflower until it's just a bit soft. We'll go ahead and cover it up or we're just gonna steam it until it's tender. So now we've got our cauliflower in the steam basket and we just want to steam this cauliflower until it is tender, not till it's falling apart. So we're just gonna go until it's tender and this is still, see my knife's not even going through it all. So we're gonna let that steam for a little bit. It usually takes 10, about 10 or 15 minutes before for cauliflower to get tender. In the meantime, we've got our garlic in the oven and we don't want it to get too far gone. So I'm gonna take it out and wow, it smells absolutely unbelievable. So this garlic is gonna be just a fantastic flavor enhancer to this cauliflower. Now that the garlic is semi-roasted, we're gonna take it out and just let it wait until the cauliflower is finished. So we'll give this cauliflower another seven or eight minutes 
and we'll move on to the next step. All right, so our cauliflower has been going now for about 10 minutes, and as you can see, it is nice and soft. So we, um, we will now, we'll take it off the steam, and we are going to simply add that to our, our roasting pan with our garlic. And we're gonna toss it around a little bit. We can even add a little bit more olive oil now to the, to the cauliflower. And we will just kind of lightly season this. And I've got this, this special pepper. It's a salty, coasty pep, salty coastal pepper. It's actually green peppercorns that's been uh, mixed with smoked salt. And now we've got our, a few of our, of our chopped red peppers. So we're just gonna toss those around a little bit and we'll put this in our hot oven and we'll let that roast for a few minutes, literally for flavor. The cauliflower is really cooked already, but we'll just put that in the oven and let it roast for probably about 10 minutes. So now our cauliflower has been in the oven for about 10 minutes and we don't need to put a lot of color on it. We just really want the flavor of that garlic because it smells absolutely incredible. And so this is what we're looking for. And you can see the garlic is nicely, nicely roasted and um, that cauliflower is ready. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to take this cauliflower and put it in our, in our food processor and we are going to blitz it and uh, we'll add our cream to it to finish. So just placing our cauliflower, the cauliflower and the garlic, everything goes in the food processor. So now our cauliflower is in. We are going to mash it in the blender. So what I'd like to do to start it is just to pulse it a little bit at the very beginning. Just to break up the, the larger pieces. All right, and now once it's broken up, we'll go ahead and turn it on. And as a matter of fact, we'll take the, the little stopper off because now what we'll do is we'll turn this on. So after we run it a little bit, you can kind of see what the, what the consistency of the cauliflower is. It's, it's quite soft. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of the cream in now. And we'll now run it on low for just a little bit. And we can add our cream as it goes. And now, depending on how creamy you want this, um, you can add you know, more or less cream to it. That is pretty creamy. So that is nice and creamy, it's nice and fluffy, but I'm gonna add just a little bit more cream to it because we want it to be a little bit smoother than it is right now. Now go ahead and you can put your blender on, on high and we're just going to let it go for a few minutes and every once in a while we'll just scrape down the sides. Okay now let's take, take a look see where we are. Nice. It's nice and smooth. Okay so now let's give it a taste and see where we are. We haven't added much salt to this at all yet, so we'll, we'll need to adjust. Mm. It is absolutely delicious. 
Um, and again, the only salt that we've added is when we, when we steam the cauliflower from the very beginning. So now we'll add a little bit of salt. And for my personal taste, I can have, I can, I could, could use a little bit more pepper. You know, cauliflower is one of those, like I said earlier, um, that can take lots of different seasonings. You know, the, the Middle East does great things seasoning cauliflower with things like fenugreek, uh, cumin, smoked paprika, that kind of thing. So if you want to have your, your cauliflower more seasoned, you can certainly do this. We're keeping this one fairly mild. So I'm just going to add the rest of my cream and we'll blend that and we'll be done. Okay, that is fantastic. So now what we'll do is we will go ahead and empty this into our, our bowl. Our cauliflower is finished and it's nice and hot. And now we're gonna add a little bit of our, or we're gonna add our cheese to it. And we'll just kind of stir that in just so it can just kind of melt, melt throughout. We're actually just kind of folding this cheese in as it were. And then we'll, we'll reserve a little bit of it for the, for the topping. And look how nice and fluffy it is. Okay. And let's just give it one more quick taste just to make sure we're there. It is absolutely fantastic. Okay, our mash is ready. Let's go ahead and finish the top of it with some of this wonderful cheese. And today I'm just using some, one of the, one of the wonderful cheeses from France is called Mimolette. It's kind of like a dark cheddar. So we'll just finish it with a little bit of Mimolette and some of our fresh chives. And there we have it. So that's it for our roasted garlic mashed cauliflower. And I'm telling you what, you try this, you will be hooked. So thanks for tuning in today. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and don't be afraid to subscribe. It's absolutely free. And when you subscribe, be sure and ring that bell so you get notified every time we release a new video. And be sure and share with all of your friends. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.